Mark Cahotis. Yeah. You know this name? You may have if you were watching Charlie yesterday. He's a longtime investor who specialized in short selling throughout his 40 year long career. But in kind of a switcheroo, he's now an investor in AMC Entertainment, yes, the theater chain, and has come up with a very unique pitch that involves a special <laughs> kind of dividend for shareholders. Charlie, after your report yesterday, you spoke with Mr. Cahotis last night. Right. What did he have to say? Um, he wanted to set the record straight on a couple of things, a correction I want to issue. There was a banner that said, Cahotis is said to have met with Adam Aaron, the CEO of AMC on this plan. He has not met with him. Okay. Uh, you know, he has provided him, and I'm going to read some of this stuff off, and it's going to be, this is going to be a really interesting story in the next sort of couple weeks as AMC, if, it's particularly if they go for this. I mean, I don't know if they'll go for it, but it's going to be a fascinating story, and we're going to have Mark on okay. on the 23rd. He's agreed. He's, he's traveling. As soon as he gets back on the 23rd, he's coming on. He wants to talk to you and I about this. Oh, so me too. You too. Yeah, he, want, yeah. he wants you to moderate. <laughs> Here's what we know, and I'm going to read some of this stuff, kind of like headline. He, he told me that he emailed Aaron a vague plan to issue a securities token as a dividend on AMC stock. Try to get your hands around this. AMC probably couldn't issue a dividend, but if you issue the token, it could have inherent value. Okay, Cahotis says the token will trade on Patrick Burns, well, the, the, the T-Zero platform right. that was founded by Patrick yeah, Burns. Yeah, he's part of it now. Yeah, the former <laughs> CEO of Overstock. Uh, the purpose of the concept is to put an NFT with value into the hands of AMC shareholders so they get something in value, the shareholders. Now, here's the secondary added, he called it an added feature, which is fascinating. It will, he believes, end the debate once and for all over whether AMC is subject to naked shorting. Why is that? If you have this, this, this dividend, right, um, and you've lent out the shares, right, the people that you've lent out the shares to hold shares that it's that are essentially owned by somebody else. The broker lends the shares out, yeah. you know, in terms of a short sell. The ultimate owners, the holders, are going to want the short the, the broker to get those shares back so they can take they can basically get the NFT, get Correct. get the dividend, right? That will create the situation where people you will go eliminate out. Eliminate shorts. Well, you'll start buying this yeah. like crazy. Now, if there's these synthetic shorts, which is these sort of w wickedly open positions where there's no borrow or no, where the borrow doesn't have to be matched uh, or doesn't have to be completed, you will see that. So it's a fascinating plan. And by the way, this whole issue of whether there's naked shorting on a AMC, whether it's controlled by dark pools, I'm dubious. I don't believe Mark is. We're going to hear him give that side of the story. I don't think it's the big deal, but Mark does. We're going to, one way or the other, we're going to find out what's going to go on here. I and mean, this, this is historic because you haven't seen something like this before. I mean, listen, the city I, you know, of Miami issued its own token and they are making money hand but that's, over that's, foot. That's, that's different. That's of different. course it is. I believe, but I'm saying I, when you issue a token, yeah, but let's get back to you the, start to move I things. know, but let's get back to the original purpose. Overstock did something like this which squeezed the shorts. Yes. Remember that? Yeah. Stock started trading up higher. This could be the same thing where you get a short squeeze coming out of this, which could be very painful if anybody's uh, really short. Now we should point out, it's only 17% short interest, not huge amounts. I mean, it's not 100%. Yeah. But uh, anyway, it's gonna be interesting next Wednesday. Okay. Everybody tune in next Wednesday. I will moderate and I will keep them apart. Hope I don't get punched in the middle, but um, thank you, Charlie.